good day world it is me mike Harmon or hl mod tech and i'm here today to show you how you can participate in the 3d vermont project without even installing sketchup on your computer you can even use a chromebook or any kind of laptop so right now let's get started on using my.sketchup all right so up in your browser window type my.sketchup and it will take you to a 3D Builder online site. Uh, if you're using a school account, you could also use SketchUp for schools. Both of those are great choices. When you get to this site, you can just immediately click Start Modeling. Of course, you need to sign in, and we are gonna sign in using Google. You may get a message about cookies. Of course, you need to use those. And with any project, we need to name and save. So let's start with a click and then enter the SketchUp folder. Note this is saved out with Trimble and not in your Google Drive and then give your project a name. I'm gonna do my same Wilder Vermont project just cause I wanna show you how well uh, this mimics the actual SketchUp program that you have to install. Step one is to select Josh and hit delete. I wanna use a location and they've got an add location tool in the professional version of SketchUp, it shows the buildings on these streets, which is wonderful, but you can see here it does not show me the building size that I want. So let me show you another way to get it. Simply visit Google Earth and do a search for the location you care about. I've zoomed in on Wilder, Vermont, and I want this building right here. I'm going to orbit so that I've got a moderately straight view of it. I'm going to check its measurements real quickly. Notice it shows me that it is in meters when I click to measure it. So I'm going to click and let go and click and let go, and it shows me 26.6 meters, which is 87 feet. Now that I know that measurement, I'm going to use a screenshot tool, Nimbus, and I'm going to grab the building. And then once I grab it, I'm going to hit the check mark to bring it in, save it to my downloads return to SketchUp and in SketchUp I'm going to bring in that file by simply dropping it on this location. Here's my screenshot from the downloads folder. Drop it as an image. When it comes in I'm going to just set it at that location and then I need to stretch it out. Remember it had to be about 87 feet this way and I'm just going to scale this way out. Now I'm going to hold down shift so I can move the axis with the rotation tool. Now I'm way out in the 200 feet. There I'm getting close to the size that it really needs to be. I'm going to double check by grabbing the tape measure tool. And let's see how close I am to the right dimension. If I go from here to here, right now I'm at 69 feet. So I'm going to stretch that out a little further. If I click on that image and I do the scale tool, I can pull that out until it's the size I want. This is kind of neat. You can see that it actually moved with it. So I can tell that my building is now 87 feet across. With that completed, it's time for us to get our axis set up. Back on that same tool, find the axis tool. And let's zoom back to the back corner and when you bring this out, we want to get it right to the spot where you believe the edge of your wall is. I'm going to call that my red axis. And then I'm going to orbit. So I'm pushing in my scroll wheel so that I can orbit. And then I'm trying to line up with this part of this wall. You want to make sure you have that as good as you can because this is the first part of your building. I'm going to be happy with that. So now I'm going to click the rectangle tool. Click the rectangle tool again. Remember, you always click and release in SketchUp. So I just clicked and I'm stretching this out and I'm moving in to put it on the exact corner of that wall. Now I'm gonna put in the little piece over here. Notice these are exactly across from each other. So I'm gonna do this one because I can see the white edge a little better in my picture. And then I'm gonna move from this location. I'm inferring the location and I want it to go to the same spot on the other side. I'm going to double check this inf infer as well by moving across, and then it'll show me when those are lined up. And then I click and make them permanent. Grab the eraser tool and remove those two sections that are inside the shape. 
Uh, this blue means that the face is the opposite of the way I want. I want the white face. And now I'm going to push pull my building up in the air so that I can add the texture of the front of my building. We're going to go back to Google Earth to do that. And we're going to use the really nifty street view. I'm going to drop it right in front of the building. And when it spins in there, I'm going to orbit using the mouse tool and get a good straight view of our little Wilder School. Once again, I'm going to go back to the screenshot tool. I'm going to select that area and I'm going to grab from the bottom corner of my building all the way to the top corner. Notice I lose a little bit down here on the bottom because of the way everything is skewed because this is a satellite image or it's an image even from the low area of a vehicle on this one. I'm going to hit save, put it in the same spot. Let's return to SketchUp and let me show you how to bring in that image. Once again, insert. This time though, when we go to the folder, we still drop it on top, but we are going to use it as a material. We want to put it in this lower corner of our face and then we want to stretch it out so that it goes to the edge. You'll notice the height is way off and that is intentional. Uh, we are going to use the push pull tool to pull it down to the approximate correct height. And then we need to get it so it's straight. And we're going to do that by right clicking and using the texture position tool. These little points allow you to click and then move to the exact corner where it really is and click and set it down and then grab it and drag it to the edge of the building where it should be. I'm going to zoom in up here and I'm going to click and remove the little point and then I'm following this wall up my texture and then I think that texture ends right there. And then I'm going to grab that and I'm going to snap it to the corner of my building as well. Click, release, move to the corner of the building. I can see the edge of the bottom brick right here. Grab and stretch that to the edge of the building I built. And one last time, do it up here on the top. I'm going to hold down shift and the scroll wheel so I can zoom in on this corner better. Click and remove, find the edge of the actual building click and snap it to my shape. Double check to make sure that you've got everything where you want. I do not have this texture to the top of the actual building. And I think when I moved it, I missed because I did not uh, note the part that was in the tree. And then I'm going to click and snap that in. Now I'm not happy with this side, but this is how you click adjust and double check till you are happy with your shape when you're totally happy just right click and choose done and you are ready to start adding the windows to your awesome project now that I'm happy I am going to erase the ground so that is out of the way I do not need this measurement anymore I'm six inches off of perfect but I'm happy with that for the building that I am creating and now let's start adding windows all right, friends, I got a trick for you here. Right click and do a line view so you're looking at it nice and straight. We are going to add windows and we're going to start with these three, but I've got a bonus trick for you. From this side, drag from the right to the left to select all of those pieces we don't need and hide them. That way, as we're building, we don't accidentally select anything on the back of our project. Draw your first window the exact way you want it. We want all of those windows to be straight across from each other. So let's grab the tape measure and let's mark out a axis all the way along the building so that we've got something to build off of. Move to your select tool, triple click that first window, hit the M for move, and then click on the first one and tap control so it's in copy mode. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you can tell that it's mentioning those every time we do it. See how it says to toggle copy? So I'm going to hit M for move again. I'm going to click that corner. I'm going to toggle copy again, and I'm going to set my next window right where I want it. Remember, the images are skewed, so trust your judgment instead of how it looks on the picture. 
turn to the side, switch to push pull, and let's push that window in six inches, which is a nice number to show the texture when you're 3D printing. I'm gonna press enter after I type six inches so it snaps exactly to that size. I'm gonna click on the second window and I'm gonna make it so that it touches the face of the other one. So I'm moving the arrow over. So now it has got the same distance. And then the next one, I'm gonna just double click and notice they are all the same. Here's another bonus is you can double check from the back to see just how well it turned out. Select all of those. So now you've got three of them selected. Once again, do the move tool. Click M for move, control for copy, and set those three right beside, noting that they stayed on the red axis. I'm gonna scroll out a little bit, hit space bar to select, and let's do the entire chunk of windows. Once again, I'm doing move, I'm doing control copy. This time I'm double checking the green axis and I'm lifting them up so that they're in the exact same spot. And then I'm double checking to make sure they are all the way I wanted. And then we are going to finish our windows by doing that exact same trick, grabbing all of them, hitting M, tapping control for copy, and then set them where those windows would be. And take a peek behind and bam, you've just done all of your windows in one amazingly easy step. Let's use a similar skill to draw this little outcropping. I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm going to start it at this edge get it to the size it needs to be on that side, and then I'm gonna zoom all the way over to this side. Once again, it has a little bit of a skew issue, but we just do what looks right to us. I'm gonna take that design, and I'm gonna slice off the pieces where I want it to be gone, making sure that these two pieces I attach are also perpendicular, and then I'm gonna erase the pieces that were in between. I'm gonna use push-pull, and pull that out four inches by typing four with the inch mark and pressing enter. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, four inches and press enter. Friends, we're gonna call that the end of lesson one. Make sure you hit save. To get your stuff back, we're gonna just hit the views tool and we want to unhide all to bring back our project. As usual, we hit that save just to make sure that you've got it. You don't ever want to lose your work. And hey, friends, if you're happy with what you've learned so far, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Last but not least, if you have a question or a comment, please leave it down below. Thank you, friends, for watching the video and competing in the awesome 3D Vermont contest.